Hello. It isn't Wednesday, it is Thursday. And it seems so odd to come in on a Thursday and pop in and see you. Although I did pop in yesterday, uh, not with what I had planned to do. Uh, however, I was at a house in Hillsboro and, uh, sorry, Bella's acting up. <laughs> Hey, Vicki, I still have something for you. I need to stop by maybe tomorrow or the weekend before maybe we get snow. Anyways, this is Bella. She's my little pesty one. Whenever I get on the phone, she always wants my attention. So anyways, um, just popping in. I'm Nancy Yoner. I'm coming to you from the heart of my home. And uh, I live in Loudoun County in Percival. I'm with Love to List and Keller Williams Realty. And... Um, I like to pop in every week and provide either some information about what's going on in the real estate world or a little fun with cooking or some business owners um, that I like to introduce you to. So variety. Hi, mom. And so anyhow, today um, I'm going to show you some of my home and some of the projects that we're working on. This month at Love to List, we are really focused on fresh start and... Um, so I thought, why not show what we're doing here to kind of do some updates and some fresh start. I don't know what Belle, Belle is doing. She looks like she's blinking at you or something, or winking. Anyway, so I thought it would be fun to share what I have going on here. And uh, last week I went over my word of the year with you, which is agreement, which is part of my fresh start and uh, what I'm agreeing to. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that. And, oh, hey, Joe, uh, it was so nice talking to you yesterday. Really, it was great to hear your voice and connect. Uh, so anyways, I know you have the cutest puppies. I mean, you're are so cute. Um, so anyways, uh, what I wanted to share with you is that it's been really interesting because before I show you the projects, I want to tell you a little bit about some self-discovery that I had to go through to get to this point. And it's been really interesting. As many of you know, in the last three years, I um, changed my business model and um, kind of geared things into a different way. Instead of having a big team, I went ahead and I am more of like just myself and two wonderful support people, Michelle and Deb. It's more like boutique style, more intimate. And uh, it was a big decision and I did it uh, at the time because our Jerry's schedule, he was home a lot more and I wanted to change my lifestyle to kind of be, spend more time with him. So that was a great decision, although it was difficult. Uh, and so as a result, uh, Jerry, especially now with a lot of people not working, Jerry's covering more hours. So his hours, he's back to pretty much, he leaves here around eight o'clock and gets home at nine o'clock during the day at night. So those are some long days. And, um, so it wasn't exactly what I had hoped when I made my, my big lifestyle change, but that's okay. Things happen. And so then with COVID, the way we work changed. You know, we're, we're more, we, we're different. We do a lot of Zoom and I'll, I'm also working from home. I'm not going into an office. Um, and so just the way of the world, the way that I work and, you know, I am in the people business, right? I am in the service industry. And so part of what I do is connect. And so in the last few years between the, ch the change of my business COVID and working from home, I came to some realizations and I realized that there's a lot of things that need to be done around here. So when I was really full, like 24 seven down in Ashburn working real estate, you know, all of that, still very active in the real estate. It's just different. Uh, anyways, I kind of like just threw myself in that because I could. And so I'm like, you know, I, when I started out in my marriage, I love, love, love serving people. I love um, having special, you know, intimate gatherings. And I also like the little things. I love finding enjoyment in the little things. So whether it's fresh flowers or a pretty little napkin uh, on the table, 
That's why I do my little art bistro table on the side. So I found that I had lost that. And I, I realized that there was a lot of things that kind of need to be done to my home that I've really neglected. So my agreement word this year is I'm agreeing to um, take care of some things that need to be done. And also, why not just really make my home the way I had dreamed originally when we bought it 20 years ago and really even enjoy it that much more. So that's kind of what that's about. Uh, oh, I will tell you too, a little bit of Jerry's and our dynamics is that um, Jerry's a little more frugal, which is great. Uh, and when I, when we do a project, I don't like to cut corners. I like to do things right. I like to do quality. So as a result, what happened was, is that I just don't do it because if I can't do it the way I want to, I'm not going to do it. So it's all fine. I mean, it's just, you know, 33 years of marriage and, uh, that, like, this is life, right? So that's what is going on here in my home. And I'm gonna take a sip of water and I'll show you that I have four projects I'm gonna show you that I hope will be done by the end of the year. Mm. The first one is um, is my pantry. And so let me show you, my, my kitchen is like a galley style kitchen, right? And um, it, so this kitchen actually really could use to be updated but that might be next year. So when you come, we come into our home from our garage. So we come in every day through this garage and I do not like this, this mudroom, this pantry. And it's, it's crazy because I, I, I really never really liked it. I always thought we'd do it right away. So, you know, time flies, you know, I don't know if you're like me. So anyways, you can see here, let me show you. Well, anyways, so this is our mudroom. We've got these old European, oh, and we have a hole here because we thought we had a leak from a bathroom upstairs, which I'm gonna show you that. And, but it needs to be, there's a couple things we need to do up there. So I'm redoing that shower up in our bonus room. So, um, but this, this is our, this is how we, there's all my purses and stuff. So this is how we come in. And this used to be, it's hard to explain, but there used to be a wall here and the refrigerator used to be in it. But we, when we got the newer refrigerator, we opened this up. And behind this wall is a utility room at about the size, um, bring them on camera? Bring what on camera? Ugg? What's that? Huh, okay. So anyways, um, I guess you guys, if I need to do something different, just let me know. Um, on this side, there's like a eight by eight or 10 by 10 storage room on the other side of that. We're gonna open that up and we're gonna make this a big um, pantry. So, and mud room and maybe a juicing center. So actually I have someone working on those plans right now as we speak. So that'll be, that is a project I've been wanting since I've been here. I'm gonna have a juicing area. Um, it'll be like a little home management center where we can drop our keys and whatnot. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then, um, let me see, when you go from the kitchen down to my hall, my front doors are down there. There's a powder room here and that we are going to be redoing. Now this powder room, oh, let me tell you, here's the other thing. I, I get, I like, I don't like talking about material things. I don't like to spend my time and attention um, on that stuff. That's probably another reason why it's been so delayed. Um, so it it's hard for me when something works and it looks good. Why change it? And you know, I'm not into just changing for the sake of change. But let me just tell you a little bit about this bathroom. Um, this is vinyl. A lot of people don't realize it, but this is vinyl. And there's a transition here that is, you can see, it's like really wobbly here. We had to screw it in. Anyways, um, and this light fixture, I don't really care for. I've never really liked that. That mirror I bought for staging and I liked it. So I put it here and it comes and goes for my different properties. But anyways, I mean, at the time, this is black and white wallpaper, right? Um, but actually, I don't really like the theme of it. I love black and white. Um, and of course, we live out in horse country. You can see I'm playing with some color there. Um, but this is our little powder room and we are going to be putting in here the hardwood floors that I put online yesterday um, that are going to go in our living room. And uh, I think I'm going to do some sort of trim pre uh, 
treatment in here. I'm working on that and then update the vanity and light fixture. So this isn't a big project, but again, it really, it needs to be done. So there you go. So, and then, there, oh, there's my front porch. You guys know my house. Um, I saw my wreaths up. So I have my, my nice winter um, arrangements. They come on, you know, with little twinkle fairy lights every night. I just love it. So anyways, this is, so if you come in the front door, this is my hall. And we have this back door here that goes to the back porch. It's kind of hard to see. Um, so there's our dining room over there. You've seen there's our bistro table. And there's my dining room. So it's a center hall, living room, dining room. And then, so this is our living room. And we had in here two chairs that we got when we first moved here that Jerry never liked. So we got rid of them and then we repurposed all of the other furniture that was in here. We repurposed it um, in our basement. Now we've got a really nice cozy rec room feel because some of this furniture went down there. And then um, up to the bonus room, which I'll show you what we're doing up there. And so anyway, so this is our living room and I'm going to show you, oh, there's my mother-in-law. Um, I'm going to show you these, these French doors we don't use because we have furniture here because we can go out to our, our porch here. So, um, we don't, we don't use this so we can put furniture in front of this and you can't really see the, the Blue Ridge today. It's so foggy and we have the fireplace with the wood stove insert. And this is, a, this is one of my favorite pieces. This came from my parents, this barrister set I love. These two chairs are going to go up in the bonus room and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. And then we have these bookcases. So these floors got ruined by the, the chair that we had here and you can see they're quite worn. Um, and they're two different that go into my, my mother-in-law's um, bedroom there. So that's nice, she has the main floor bedroom. And, but you can see that this is a walkway, right? So we, this is a very difficult room to, um, I was gonna show you here. This is kind of how the room looks. So it's just, you get two areas. This is not to scale. Um, but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting a sectional in this section with an ottoman, a nice sectional here with an ottoman. And then over here, sorry if I whip around too fast, we're gonna do four, sw four swivel chairs and a round table. So the fabrics you saw, this, um, this is gonna be our sectional over here in, in, in the den over here, just gonna be really light and pretty because my house is kind of dark. And then this is gonna be the leather ottoman. And then these are so fun. This one fabric is really cool. Um, these are gonna be my, my fabrics for, whoops, can you see that? For the couch on on the on the white couch so that's going to be what that is i hope you guys can kind of get a feel for that and then the four chairs are it's going to be this pretty kind of slate blue it picks up some of the blue slate there's one right there that's kind of the same color so it kind of picks that up and then these are going to be some throw pillows it's kind of a fun um interesting pattern I'm thinking I'm gonna do blanched everywhere, but I haven't made a 100% decision. <laughs> you know, really, when it comes to uh, picking up paint color, I can do it for everybody else, but it's, I have a hard time. So anyway, so that's, let's see, the powder room, pantry, and here, and of course it takes a really long time to um, get furniture. So that's why it won't be until the end of the year when all of that gets done. So. We have four bedrooms up here, and um, it's just like an old, it feels like an old, like here's my, here's my hall up here. This is, this is flowering herb, and actually I've really loved flowering herb, um, and but I just feel like I need a change. So when I change the paint color in the living room and in the hall, dining room, kitchen, pantry um, this year, and up here, and then our bonus room, which you'll see. So uh, just kind of walk down. This is over our garage. Oh, there's Foxy, Foxy Schmoxy. So this, that's our workout area, fun area. And then we've had this, this was all, used to be all downstairs in the basement, but we brought it up here when we redid everything, and you know, got rid of everything in the living room. And this is a rug that, this is very dear to me. This is, has been in my family forever. This was in our, family room, my mom's rug. So 
Anyways, but this, so this, these cranberry chairs and all this was down in the basement with a neutral rug. It wasn't meant to go, those cranberry chairs weren't meant to go on uh, this rug. Um, but I'm going to keep the couch and those two leather chairs I showed you downstairs are going to come up and go here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I haven't decided, I'm either going to refinish these in this kind of tweed looking fabric um, that will go, it has some blue in it, actually, it'll go well with the blue couch. And um, I'm either going to uh, refinish it or the, the way the cost for refinishing or um, reupholstering it is about the same as getting a new chair. So I, I'm not sure what to do. These are very comfortable, but they've, they're a little dated, but anyways, we'll see about that. So that's that. And then these are some of the fabrics that I'm going to be throwing um, on pillows over here, kind of update this whole look. And then those two leather chairs will go over there. Oh, and here you go. This is what I'm going to be painting. I have made this decision. This is accessible beige, and this is high reflective white for the trim. And then this balanced beige is going to, it's a little bit darker. You can see difference is going to go in this bathroom. We weren't really intending on doing this now, but because of this leak situation, um, I mean, this is old. Look at these <laughs> old light fixtures. <laughs> oh my gosh. But we'll be keeping our floors here. And then we're just going to do a shower over there with the, with some tile and get a new vanity and, and spruce that up. So those are the projects that I have uh, for 2022. Have a fresh start in my own home and I'm really looking forward to it. So I really appreciate you guys popping in. Uh, next week, I have a couple of things I might be doing. I'm waiting to hear from somebody, so I don't have it totally planned yet, but I, um, I thank you for joining me on a little tour of our projects. And uh, certainly, uh, I hope everyone is doing well. And please know that uh, lots of uh, thumbs up, lots of love, and keep smiling, okay? Really appreciate you. Oh, thanks, Joe. It is exciting. And you have exciting stuff going on, too. So, all right. Take care.